Hey, welcome to a new series that I'm calling Film Logic Busted. As we all know, film should be a zero escapism medium. Film should be an accurate depiction of real life. Because if it's not, well, you might as well just go ahead and rip up your movie ticket now, buddy, because I'm telling you, that's to me, that's lying, okay? As a filmmaker, I like to make sure that my films are 110% factual, meaning that there's a 10% error margin for fantastical elements, and it will still be 100% legitimate. Seriously, look at any one of my films and tell me that I'm not telling the truth here. I Tell me I'm crazy. I dare you to call me crazy right now. So if you saw Interstellar last year, then you'll probably know what I'm getting at here. I have a particular bone to pick with a certain logistical element to this film. That's right, you've guessed it. It's the corn. For those of you who haven't seen Interstellar, very long story short, it's about a world that's running out of food and supplies, so all they're left with is fields of delicious corn. So Matthew McConaughey one day says, hey, I'm fed up with this damn corn. I'm gonna go into space and find some food that isn't corn. Or something like that. I'm fed up of all this corn. I'm gonna go up into space and find something that's not corn. Look, I'm no dummy. I know if the world ran out of food and was just left with corn, I'd love that. I'd love to eat just corn for the rest of my life. So here goes nothing. I'm gonna be attempting the legendary corn challenge where I'm gonna be eating corn every day for a week. Do not try this at home. I'm a certified YouTuber. I know how to do challenges. Let's go. This is freaking delicious. Keep it coming. Still fine. I mean, it's just corn, so. I'm starting to get what I like to call the corn sweats. I have forgotten what normal food tastes like, but I'm gonna press on. Okay, I'm just really starting to feel very emotional about this entire corn-themed situation that I'm in right now. And I found myself crying a lot for no particular reason. I just keep dreaming that I'm this cute little corn on the cob sitting in the field with my friends and then I'm plucked away and my head is ripped off and I'm thrown into the mouth of this giant and I'm being crunched up and then I wake up screaming every night. Other than that though, I'm all right. <laughs> so, I didn't see this coming. My body seems to have changed overnight and my appearance is looking rather Cornish. I appreciate any concerns you may have about my well-being, but this is my journey, and it's up to me to complete it alone. Thank you for understanding. That gentle sea breeze makes me think of simpler times. Makes me wonder, what will we put on this planet to- <laughs> oh, 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 it's cold! Oh, it's happening! My destiny's been sealed! It's happening! I'm finally doing it! I'm becoming a sea creature! Goodbye, friends! Goodbye, YouTube! Goodbye, everybody! Oh, all corn-related side effects seem to have subsided. And believe it or not, I actually feel a lot healthier than before I started this. So I guess you could say, I'm amazed. Interstellar Logic. Busted. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That is, unless you thought it was a bit too corny. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend to laugh once. Ha! And then I'm gonna edit it so it makes it look like I was laughing at it because that wasn't even funny enough to fake laugh at. Know your limits, people. Ha! <laughs> know your limits. Let me know what film logic you want busting next and I will do my best. Sweet, I'm gonna go eat some corn. Ha! <laughs>